Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. I wanted to share a really great resource I found last week, and this is for After Effects. It's called UI Grids, and it's made by Dark Pulse Motion Design. I'll put a link below. And it's a really, really cool uh, vector-based grid generator for After Effects. All right, so once you download and unzip, you'll have the FFX file right here, and then you'll have a README. It'll show you exactly where to put that file in your Adobe After Effects preset folder and then you can go ahead and restart After Effects. Now, let's go ahead and make a new composition and let's add a new layer to that composition. So this is one thing that you might run into. You might think that like a lot of other effects, you put it onto a solid or a adjustment layer. So you might go ahead and look for your UI in the effects uh, search here. And here it is, UI grids. You might uh, drag that onto your solid and nothing's going to happen. Another thing you might do is just double click on it and nothing's going to happen either. And you might get a little bit frustrated. You might think it's the color and change that. But actually this um, preset is based on shape layers. So if you have your solid highlighted, it's not gonna work. So delete your solid. And if you have your solid, just make sure it's not highlighted. Then if you double click UI grids, it'll show up. So that's a little uh, gotcha that you might run into. All right, so here is UI grids and let's go to the master control first. First of all, we can change the width and the height, and then we can also play with the spacing, and that will determine how close these little squares are to each other. And the nice thing is that we can control the lines and also what is in between the lines. So right now we have dots on, so we can change the opacity of those dots. We can also change the size of them. If we don't want dots, we can turn that off and we can do some other things like a cross, maybe take the uh, size down a little bit. And now you have that nice little cross. Another thing you can do is add a square if you wanted to play around with that. So those are the different things that you can put uh, in between the lines. All right, let's uncheck squares, go back to our cross here, and let's go back to our lines. So under lines, we have a lot of great features. One of the ones I really like is this up and down diagonals. So we can add a kind of cross slashes, which is a nice feature, and we can add both if we wanted to. And then another one that we can play around with is the subdivision level. So we can add uh, more ticks and more lines in between the squares here. So if we go to a subdivision level of one, we'll add another layer in between and we can keep cranking that up. And then you get something that's sort of like a graph paper or something like that, maybe a blueprint style lines. And these are pretty intense, but we can drop the opacity on those and we could turn the, uh, the cross off if we wanted to. So there you go, we could uh, play around with the thickness as well. So just like that, with a few clicks, you can make a really intricate and detailed background grid. And this is completely vector, so if you scale it up, it's not gonna get blurry at all, which is absolutely awesome. So what a great resource, pretty rad that they're giving away for free. I'm definitely gonna make good use of this, and I hope you will too. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel App, and we'll talk to you next time. Oh, by the way, if you know any great resources or have anything to share with the community, just shoot me an email. I'd love to help spread the word. All right, thanks everyone. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.